Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiana. I did want to hop on real quick and give one more TTC update. I did just post a video on Monday, but you guys, things are happening so quickly around here. God is working overtime and I wanted to make sure I keep you guys all up to speed. If you don't want to miss anything in our TTC journey, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And again, at the end of the video, if you like it, of course, hit that like button. Well, let's just go ahead and get started. So quick recap of Monday. Um, I posted a TTC journey update on Monday, episode four. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make this like a 4.5 because it's not a full update, but I have a few things that have been happening and I wanna keep you guys informed. So on Monday, I talked about how we had our first specialist appointment and it went pretty well. We left that appointment with a checklist of things to do, a bunch of labs they wanted me uh, to go get, they wanted my husband to do, a second semen analysis, um, and then come back for some sonograms once my cycle starts. Also disclaimer, if you guys hear laughter or yelling or something in the background, my husband is on his computer streaming, so you might hear him being crazy, um, but just don't mind him. Uh, so we went to our doctor's appointment, we had a to-do list, and I kid you not, the next day, my husband was like, he sent me a link to um, a benefits company that covers fertility benefits. So backstory, uh, my husband Derek had mentioned that his job covers fertility. He was like, I heard that, you know, my job covers like fertility benefits. That's all he said. We've, mind you, we've had this appointment for maybe over a month, just like waiting, waiting, waiting. And he mentioned that his job covers some kind of fertility stuff, but you know, that's what he heard, whatever. But he never gave me any information and I didn't know if it was true or not, so I was just like, okay, whatever. Kid you not, the day after our appointment, our appointment cost us like a cool, like 340 for just a first time consultation and the sonogram and like their recommendations as far as like testing and stuff, $340. The next day, he gives me the actual, Derek, my husband, gives me the actual information for uh, the fertility benefits. And it turns out his company does cover up portion of um, like your fertility testing and treatments and so on and so forth. So now like I'm just gathering all the information so that we can go through um, his company's benefits so that we can get either reimbursed or we kind of have a plan moving forward as far as how we're going to pay for certain things. So it was just been going so fast, super exciting because we were approved. Um, we were able to join the program. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of it, it's called Progeny. I've never heard of it before, um, but they do help with fertility, like benefits and treatments and all that jazz. Um, so I was able to reach out to them, get us signed up, um, get our ID numbers and everything. So now when we go to the next fertility specialist, and this is where it gets a little tricky, um, the doctor that we saw on Monday is not in network. Um, and therefore any services rendered there would not be covered by these fertility benefits that we qualify for. So we are gonna call our first appointment a wash and I'm going to find another fertility specialist that is in network and we're basically going to start all over. I think that I can take the labs. Um, I think no matter what, I'm going to have to get tested for all the things that the first doctor recommended, right? So. I think what I'm going to do is take the labs um, and see where I can go that's in network and still perform those tests. So that way when we do finally get our appointment with our fertility specialist that's in network, I already have that information going in because I don't want there to be like this wait period. I know we had to wait four or five weeks for our first appointment with the last doctor and I don't want that to be the case with this one. So if it is four or five weeks within that time frame, I want to at least get the testing done and have Derek go do his testing as well so that we aren't behind the curve. We're still kind of even, you know, in the same boat, even though we're out like $340, whatever. Um, so that's where we're at. I'm really, really excited, guys. I was feeling like we didn't really have many options. Um, with our uh, medical not covering fertility medi or medications or treatments or anything like that, just because, I mean, I don't have money to go 
do IVF. You know what I mean? Like, not that I want to. I don't, I really, really, really pray to God that I do not have to get IVF. I, it's just, it's so much. And the people that go through it are so strong to me because, I mean, I know I could do it if I had to do it because, you know, when you want something, you're willing to do anything for it, I guess. Um, and I know it's something that I could do. I just really don't want to have to do that. Um, but knowing that we have an option to have help, um, just kind of makes it that much better. You know, at the end of the day, if the doctor's recommendation is that we go that route, at least we know that we have support um, and could have help getting getting that done. So it just brings a little bit of ease, a little bit of peace of mind um, that we're able to use this company um, for our fertility benefits. So I just wanted to give you guys kind of an update where we are. Yeah, that's it. Um, I will give you guys another update probably after our next first uh, fertility specialist appointment since that place will be in network and we'll be staying with them long term. So hopefully uh, things will move a little bit quickly as well because y'all, we're trying to have this baby Smith 2020. I, I think we're we're almost out of the 2020s. Like, I think it's going to be 2021 here shortly if we don't get things popping. I mean, there's nothing to say that I'm not pregnant, like, right now, okay? I'm still four days out, four days out to cycle day number one. So, jury's not out yet. Fat lady ain't saying. But, I mean, I don't, I don't think I am. I'm not feeling any kind of symptoms, and I am not about to test early because... I mean, we all know how that has turned out for me. Um, so I will, once I have like a missed period, late period, whatever, then I'll test. But as of now, I am having my coffee. I am relaxing, trying to live my best life. Just praising God for all the different little things that have been happening the last five days. It's like, it's still overwhelming. I'm still feeling that overwhelming feeling. Like, first I was overwhelmed with just the plethora of information that I received at my facility specialist and then for the next day to have all this other like benefits information come at me and like it's just it's overwhelming and exciting and it's it's just everything so thank you guys for watching again please click the subscribe button stay on top of everything with us I love being able to uh, share what's going on with me especially since I don't get to see and talk to a lot of my friends and I know that a lot of my friends do come on here and watch me so please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything like this video give me a call if you have my number I'd love to talk to you and yeah thank you guys so much I'll talk to you guys soon